Good morning. Today we will discuss about the parts and functions of the cell. So, what is a cell? Humans are made up of trillions of cells, the basic unit of life on Earth. Cells can be thought of as tiny packages that contain minute factories, warehouses, transport systems, and power plants. They function on their own, creating their own energy and self-replicating. The cell is the smallest unit of life that can replicate. However, cells also communicate with each other and connect to create a solid, well-stuck-together animal. Cells build tissues which forms organs and organs work together to keep the organism alive. Ro Robert Hooke first discovered cells in 1665. He gave them their name because they resembled the cellia, Latin for small rooms where monks live in monasteries. Inside the cell, different cell types can look wildly different and carry out very different roles within the body. For instance, a sperm cell resembles a tadpole, a female egg, egg cell is spherical, and nerve cells are essentially thin tubes. Despite their differences, they often share certain structures. These are referred to as organelles or mini-organs. Below are some of the most important. So, next. So, ito yung, uh, this one is the Golgi apparatus, centrosome, cytoplasm, ribosome, lysosome, smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Kung may smooth, meron ding rough endoplasmic reticulum. Nucleus, nucleolus, vesicle, membrane, cytoskeleton, and mitochondrion. So, next. Nucleus. The nucleus can be taught of as the cell's headquarters. They, there is normally one nucleus per cell, but this is not always the case. The skeletal muscle cells, for instance, have two. The nucleus contains the majority of the cell's DNA. Uh, a small amount is housed in the mitochondria. The nucleus send out, sends out messages to tell the cell to grow, divide, or die. So, sila, yung nucleus siya yung nagsasend ng message kung, kung mag-grow ba, mag -de divide Kasi, di ba, ang cell din natin, namamatay din yan. Pero, nag -de divide at saka nag-grow din. So, the nucleus is separated from the rest of the cell by a membrane called the nuclear envelope. Nuclear pores within the membrane allow through small molecules and ions while larger molecules need transport proteins to help them through. So, next. Ribosome. Ribosomes are tiny organelles that contain RNA and specific proteins within cytoplasm. Within the cell, within the cell, ribosomes are directly involved in the manufacture of proteins by using their RNA and amino acids. This process involves decoding the information contained in the mRNA or messenger RNA and using amino acids to produce use the required proteins. So next, what is mitochondria? Every living organism is created with a central brick which is the cell and the number of the mitochondria in each cell could broadly change by tissue, organism, and cell type. Mitochondria are organelles located in the cells of each complex organism. These organelles are shaped in a rod-like structure, pa yung ano, ganun, rod, located in both plant and animal cells. Kasi, uh, 
from sabi nga dito uh, located, located sila sa pareho ng plant and animal cells kasi uh, may differences din kasi ang plant and animal cells animal cell kung ang ano sa plant cell merong absent sa animal cells pero meron ding animal merong present sa animal cells absent sa ganun, sa ano plant cells ganun lang and they create around 90% of the chemical energy which cells need in order to survive so next Although they do not just pro produce ener energy, they produce chemical as well that the body system requires for different purposes such as breaking down waste, wastes, wastes so that they will be less harmful and also recycle some of the wastes to save energy. It is composed of the outer membrane, in the inner membrane, the intermembrane, intermembrane space, the criste, the matrix. What is a vacuum? A vacuum is a membrane-bound multifunctional organelle found in the cells of plants, including algae and fungi, and some proteins and bacteria. Vacuums are acidic in nature and share some basic properties with lysosomes that are predominantly found in plant cells. Depending on the type of plant, there are different types of vacuoles with specific properties that are crucial to their functions. So next. Unlike lysosomes in animals, there is only one of a few vacuoles individual plant cells. Vacuoles take up 80 to 90 percent of the entire plant cell volume. So cytoskeleton. Is made up of microtubules and microfilaments by spreading throughout the cell in the cytoplasm. The cytoskeleton helps maintain the shape of the cell while also ensuring its elasticity. So, so is, is, ano niya, uh, ini help niya na magform. The cytoskeleton is also involved in anchoring the nucleus and supporting cell contents. Next, plastids are a type of organelle found in plant cells and algae. Like mitochondria, plastids are membrane-bound organelles that contain nuclei, nucleoids. As such, they are also semi-autonomous organelles. There are different types of plastids that include chloroplast, chromoplast, gerontoplast, and leucoplast. So, next. The following are some function of different types of plastids. So, yun na, nabanggit chloroplast contain the pigment chlorophyll. Ibig sabihin that captures energy from sunlight for photosynthesis. Chromoplast, chromoplast are present in the certain photosynthetic eukaryotes. So, yun. Gerontoplast is type of plastid that, plastid that develops from the chloroplast during senescence. In folgate plants. So, yung next, leucoplast compared to the other plastid. Leucoplast are unpigmented organelles. So, yun, next. Endoplasmic reticulum found in eukaryotic cell. Endoplasmic reticulum or ER is the organelle that forms an interconnected network or of platen sacs or Sister Ney. Like some of the other organelles found in eukaryotes, ER is enclosed in a membrane. The ER is divided into two regions that vary in structure and function. So next. This include smooth endoplasmic reticulum. The smooth ER is named so because it lacks a ribosome on its surface. As a result, it is more smooth in appearance as compared to the rough ER. It involved in the synthesis of lipids, for example, phospholipids, and carbohydrates that are used to build the cell membrane. So, next. Some of the other function of the smooth ER include transportation of vesicles, enzymes production in the liver, Contraction of muscle cells in the muscles. 
synthesis of her hormones in the brain cells. So next. Rough endoplasmic reticulum. Unlike the smooth ER, rough ER has ribosome. Ang pinakaibahan nila, yung si, ano, si smooth walang ano, ribosome, pero ito meron. Di ba naubusan nga siya, pero ito meron. That attached to its surface. So next. Centrals are cylindrical organelles found in the in most eukaryotic cells. They contain tube shaped molecules known as microtubules that help separate chromosomes and move them during cell division. Lysosome is commonly referred to as sacs of enzyme. They are membranous organelles that contain acidic enzymes that serve to digest various micromolecules. Example, lipids and nucleic acid in the cell. So, yun. Next. Golgi apparatus. Golgi apparatus are found in eukaryotic and are highly folded into cisternae or flattened sacs. They are enclosed in a membrane that varies in the thickness form from different region. In the cell, the Golgi apparatus are actively involved in the manufacturing storage as well as transportation of products from the ER. So, next. Cell world. Cell, ay, some books to, do not consider the cell world to be an organelle. However, it's one of the most important components of plant cell. So, yun. Functions of a cell. As you already know that a cell is a structural and functional unit of living. Let us study six of the most vital functions performed by a cell. Structure and support. You know a house is made of bricks. Similarly, an organism is made up of cell. Though, there are certain cells such as cholenchyma and scler sclerenchyma are present for offering structural support. However, in general, too, all, cel all cells generally provide the structural basis for of all organisms. Growth. In complex organisms such as humans, and the tissues grow by simple multiplication of cells. Hence, cells are responsible for the growth of the organism. The entire thing takes place via a process of mitosis. Transport. Cells import the nutrients that are used in the different chemical processes with, which take place inside them. So, yun. Sila yung ano na, uh, yung waste, product is produced, gano'n. Energy production. Organism need energy to perform. Siyempre, kailangan ng ano, ng energy para makakapag, ano, diba? Energy is the, uh, pag ito yung para makagawa tayo ng mga bagay na kaya dapat natin gawin, kailangan natin ng energy. Yan. Next. Metabolism. Need ng, ano, cell is responsible for metabolism that includes all the chemical reaction that take place inside an organism to keep it alive. So, next. Reproduction. Ito, at, ito na yung last. A cell helps in reproduction by the processes of mitosis in more involved organism and meiosis. Next. So, yun. Thank you.